Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today when it comes to watchOS 17.3, I'll be happy to let you know that if you go into your settings, go to general and software update, you can see watchOS 10.3.1 has been released and I have it here on my Apple Watch Series 7 and the exact update size is 283 megabytes i was updating from watch os 10.3 so this is the average update size across multiple devices if you are coming from an older version of watch os of course then this is going to be slightly different but this gives you an idea of what to expect and good thing about this is that apple actually released another batch of updates you can see for ios we have ios 17.3.1 alongside ipad os 17.3.1 and we have mac os 14.3.1 since i've already downloaded the update on my iphone you can see for me to install i just have to connect it to the charger so let me just do that and then we'll see what are the new features and changes just like that and now I'm my not watch sure i understand okay okay now well at least it's a good thing that this is working because I, before i updated it was a hit and miss so good to know that raise to speak is working but a good thing about watch always updates is that you know once it updates you know for sure the update is complete or it's already done the update if you leave it and come back because there's always this pop-up that tells you the update is complete and your watch is now up to date so we we'll dismiss that and now if we go into our settings go to general and then go to the about you can see the new build number that comes with this version it's 21 s 6 Five, one. So if you're on watchOS 10.3.1, this is the build number that you should have. Now, in terms of what's new or what's changed with this update, I'll be happy to let you know that, well, at least according to Apple, this update fixes or brings improvements and bug fixes. An unfortunate thing about Apple when it comes to watchOS, they don't really tell us what improvements they are or what bugs they are actually trying to resolve. But there's something unique that I realized when it comes to watchOS updates. And to be specific, this one is a bit different than the other updates that came out today. So you can see here on the Apple security or Apple software update page, iOS 17.3.1 has no release notes. So does iPadOS and Mac OS but the one that has release notes is watchOS 10.3.1 so let's see what Apple fixed here I'll just lower my risk because Siri is being very sensitive um, so right here you can see they fixed an issue when it comes to device support and it says copying debug symbols from Apple Watch running watchOS 10.3 beta 2 might take up to 20 minutes so after updating I actually tried this and I copied some text and it was instant there was no delay and it's not taking up 20 minutes like what it was before on watchOS 10.3 beta 2 and you can see another resolved issue that has to do with store kit and this basically pertains to application interfaces so if this is something that you're experiencing for the developers then just know that this issue has been resolved now a good thing also that I wanted to show you and you probably saw it at the start of this video is that a number of people on the previous watchOS 10.3 reached out about Siri because this feature here was broken where it says raise to speak but for me I don't know if this is a little bit abnormal but it's pretty much sensitive than what it was before because for me race to speak was working but it was a hit and miss but now with watchOS 10.3.1 it just seems a little bit too sensitive like my mouth is about maybe 40 centimeters away from the Apple watch and when I just turn this feature on it just let's try that again yeah it just starts to pick up my voice so it's a hit and miss but it's good to know that this has been fixed although it might need to be tuned or calibrated so that it works better for me i'll just leave this off for now and also another change that this update fixes has to do with connectivity so if you're having issues connecting to your device whether it was the iphone pinging the apple watch or apple watch pinging the iphone since you can also do that this issue had no problem with that i'll be testing the walkie talkie as well just to make sure it works 
works between other apple watch devices and if there's an issue i'll definitely leave a comment below but connectivity seems to be great and i looked into different forums and i reached out to some of my friends that do beta testing and they haven't experienced an issue which is something that's great now another thing that you might see if you are coming from a version of watch OS that's not watch OS 10.3 maybe you're coming from watch OS 10.2 is the new unity watch face right here so you see when you go to the new watch faces right here you have this unity bloom and this one was here or it was introduced with watch OS 10.3 and you can see here the full bloom that you have or the single bloom and you can see here the different colors that you can choose from i think the original one is pretty good and then if you want to add complications well this watch face does not support complications so it's one of the new ones that was introduced with watch os 10.3 and if you want the new band that came with this watch face it's also available on apple's website or on apple store if we look at the security release page of this updates you'll be able to see what they try to patch because on all the updates that apple released today most of them you'll notice there's no cve published and watch os 10.3.1 is no exception because it mentioned it has no cve or common vulnerabilities and exposures so we really don't know what security bugs or patches there are with this update but sometimes it's pretty typical of apple to hold on to the release notes of security so that they allow a number of people to be able to update and get to the latest watch os version and maybe in a week or so you might see that this page has been updated so just keep an eye on this apple security page and you might be able to see some updates now a great thing about this watch os version that i like and it's both on watch os 10.3 10.3.1 and watch os 10.4 that's currently in beta is that the battery life on these devices and with these current updates has been pretty good so here on my apple watch series 7 right here you can see you know my battery health is not the greatest because this is a pretty old device we are approaching the 80 percent mark as we are on 84 but honestly uh, the person that daily drives this has had no issues and no problem when it comes to battery and the same goes when it comes to performance so it seems like apple is really tuning this very well when it comes to battery optimization and finding the balance between the battery life as well as device overall performance now you see that I have my Apple Watch out right here. Now, this one has been updated to watchOS 10.4 that's currently in beta. So you can see we are way ahead. And if you're on watchOS 10.4 beta, you won't see watchOS 10.3.1 because you're already on a version ahead. And if you want to downgrade and get watchOS 10.3, I made a video where you can do that. And it's, it's like an inside video, but there's a few improvements to Siri among others and alternative languages too that have been added. So I'm still covering watchOS 10.4 in beta on my channel. Check out those videos if you are interested. But other than that, this is how this watchOS 10.3.1 has been on my Apple Watch. I'm going to be testing it vigorously and then if I notice anything different or anything that changed, then I'll let you know. But whether you should be updating or not, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing right here with watchOS 10.3.1. I'll keep doing research on different forums. And then if an issue persists, then I'll let you know. So that's about it for me. Definitely one to update to if you are on watchOS 10.2 or older. And even if you are on watchOS 10.3 and you are looking for the latest version to be able to update to, this one is pretty good. So that's about it for me. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.